First, it's important to make sure you have a good definition between the background and your element. It's easier when we have a dark solid background, but here and here is where it gets tricky. One side does not contrast enough and the other one is covered by a leaf. Here's a way to fix this. With your layer active, pick the clone stamp tool. Set your sample point in an area with good color contrast definition, like these cute furry cheeks. With a sub brush, click to clone over the areas where the fur background is not well defined. Sample and stamp as needed. And the same for the other side. Once you're happy with the result, create a subject selection and enter the select and mask workspace. At the top, you'll find the magic button, refine hair. Click it. On your right panel, make sure you're on color aware. We're refining by color and not object. That's why it was important to create the color contrast first. Check out the contaminate color box on output settings. Pick the refine edge brush and we're going to basically tell Photoshop which colors on the areas of the selection edge we want to refine. In this case, all dark colors on the edge, like this. Once you're happy with the result, output as a new layer with layer mask.